Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this tutorial, I want to show you four different tools. The first one, if you open the two curves folder, there is a cluster and an example file. Uh, let me show you first with the cluster. So if I open this, uh, okay, the first tool I want to explain is the two curve arcs. It's a really useful tool if you want to just convert two sets of curves. Uh, into a series of arcs and surfaces. So as you can see here, uh, I've provided two curves for the inputs, curve one and curve two, and there is also a number of division. So for example, if I just go here and draw a curve, and also draw another curve, I can set this to the first curve and the second curve here. You can see how easy it is and when I change this it can simply give me a number of arcs so if I wanted to use the arcs I can bake this and use it in my project these are the arcs I can use and if I want the surfaces I can bake and use this uh, surfaces between the arcs uh, which I'm going to explain in the next tools. Uh, also, if you, for example, give two circles to the input, you can see that we can produce these series of arcs and strips. There is an input called closed, so you can just hit true and false. As you can see here, this is really useful for closed curves, and uh, you can use that. Let me explain also the example file. So if you open the example file, uh, let me turn off everything and explain this step by step. So the first and put the bifocals so you can see the inputs okay we have simply two curves which we're going to use in the project uh, you have to divide these curves into a number so that's really simple you just have to div give this uh, number slider to the divisions uh, it's going to divide it into a series of points then what we have used here is in the curve uh, and primitive we have this arc sed start end and direction so the first point is a set of curve uh, divided into points is going to go to the start the second curve is going to go to the end and for the direction uh, it's going to be used as a z so that is going to uh, give something like this for the arc and produce the arcs like this uh, you can use other tools, maybe arc tree point and other uh, arc tools if you want to. But anyway, that's going to give you the arc. The next step is to connect them together with a series of strips. So I've used the loft tool from the surface loft. And for the option, you can use the loft option uh, tool. Uh, the most important thing is the type. So if you right click here, you can see that there is normal, loose, tight, straight and uniform. Uh, for example, the default is normal, but you can use the straight. I'm going to extract that. So you can see that this is the number three, and that's going to connect them into a series of straight surfaces. Uh, also for the closed and open, you can use uh, true and false. So if it's like a circular curve, so uh, like the uh, circles we had, you can use the true false to get the final results. And then, uh, if I just bake that, you can see that this is the surface. Because they are joined together, we deconstruct that and extract the faces, the surfaces. So that is also another output you can get. These are the curves and this is the surfaces. And if I bake that, you can see that the strips uh, are separated uh, from each other. Okay, the next tool is the uh, polylines. So instead of curve, we can also use that uh, as a polyline. For polyline, I have made two tools. One is for points and one is polyline. For the points, you can see that uh, the inputs is simply a series of points one and points two, which is going to define the polyline and then a number of division, which is going to define, uh, for example, the smallest part of the polyline, it's going to divide the other parts. So as you can see here, if I change the location, I can get different results. The logic behind this is also similar, but because it's a polyline, we have some extra tools to do. Uh, I'm going to explain that in the future uh, video. Uh, finally, we can get the arcs and the surfaces. Again, you can see that we have those strips as an output. There's also another cluster called cluster polyline, uh, which you have to define a series of polyline. You can see this is like the first polyline and the second polyline, remember that whatever polyline you are defining, 
uh, then the second one has to has the same number uh, of edges because if it doesn't uh, you're not going to get the uh, good results I'm going to set this to the first polyline and this to the second polyline and now you can see that we can increase or decrease the division uh, I'm going to explain uh, the algorithm and what we have done to produce the results uh, for the polyline the next one is panel structure so for example let me show you with the cluster uh, uh, if we have produced those panels we have a tool here which we can let me turn this off assume that we have um, uh, given this strips as the inputs we have used the first tool for that uh, there is an input for the uh, flip so if you have problem for the outputs you can just flip the surface and it's going to give you outputs and results so here there is a series of zero and ones a zero is going to define uh, the panel output and one is going to define the structural output so you can see it here and you can even increase the gene list to maybe three and for example say I need one series of panels then two structures and again it's going to repeat so remember that you can even change that if you want to so if you put it both to one the output is going to be something like this which you can change the truss type 0 1 2 like this if you want to put it all to panels you can put it to zero and then you can change the number of count remember that we have defined the strips now we want to div uh, divide them into panels like this and uh, you can also put it like zero to one to make it like that uh, as the output we have the truss lines we have the panels if I bake that you can see the panels here and also we have the strips for the panels just a simple dispatching uh, you can do that also for the circular uh, panels or strips uh, the next thing I'm going to explain the algorithm as we go forward okay okay the last tool is the inflated strips so assume I'm going to show you with the cluster okay the last tool you can see here is the inflated strips so you can give the surface strips to that remember that we can change the strips to zero one if we want a series of structures anyway when we have the strips you can define uh, how many division you need in the UV division then just change this inflation remember that small numbers can only work so if I just put this to negative it's going to inflate inwards and if it's positive it's going to inflate outwards and finally I can bake the meshes so this tool is also really useful uh, I'm going to explain the algorithm and how it's going to produce the final results uh, again for the second example you can just give the strips to the inputs number of division how much you want to inflate it remember that increasing this too much will break the meshes so that's also an output you can get and if I put it inwards you can see that we can inflate them inwards that's also useful if you want to make it like this okay that's uh, the four tools we are going to cover in this uh, lesson uh, if you have any questions ask below and let's take a look at the three other uh, components and tools I'm going to explain them step by step uh, as we have explained the two arcs